is Casey from Crystalline Beauty. Um, so I'm here with a, another mystery unboxing for you guys. I'm very tired, so excuse the baggies under my eyes because I can see them. Um, but I haven't been asleep tonight, but I wanted to shoot this because I was so super excited. Um, this is another mystery box that I ordered off of Poshmark. And I just wanted to show you guys how it came before we started. So I'm kind of just holding my phone right now and I'm going to do a flip of the cameras to show you the package because it's so cute and I want you to get a feel for how she sends things. So this is um, from a seller on Poshmark. I will put her, um, her username across the screen. I believe it's... Um, Raleigh world or raw world um but I will put it across the screen and in the description box below so you can find her she has amazing mystery boxes she does three times um the retail value of what you paid so I bought a $125 mystery box and so sh I should have a $375 box so we will see um I can't wait to see what's in it it is so awesome. I already took a peek and she wrapped everything like presents. So that's amazing. And I can't wait to see what she sent me. So I'm going to flip you guys around here so you guys can see this package as well. So, sorry I'm flipping you guys. Um, This is a package. And for one, it has like little stickers. Well, actually that's like a little plastic piece that's glued on. So I think that's just amazing. And then when you open it, this is what you see. So I've got a card, sorry. I've got a card here with my name on it. And um, that's what the package looks like. And then when you undo, whoops, I don't even see that. When you undo this tissue paper, It looks like Christmas in a box. So I'm so excited to see what's in this box. Um, she was an amazing seller. She contacted me throughout the entire process to act, ask me my likes and my dislikes and com completely curated this box for me. So I'm super, super, super excited to see what is in this. And I absolutely love the packaging already. It's gorgeous. So, um, I'm going to set this package to the side and we will start opening our goodies. I'm also going to put you guys on the tripod. So, um, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, like I said at the top, there was a little card with my name on it. So, I'm going to open this. Um, at the back it had this cute little sticker that said thank you. And... It says, Dear Casey, thank you so much for your purchase. I had a lot of fun putting together a mystery box for you. I hope you have as much fun opening it up. Enjoy. Love, T. Um, so, um, I went ahead and looked up the name, and it's Raw Lux underscore world is um, the username, but I will put that across the screen as well as in the description box below. Um, I will make a disclaimer real quick. Um, I don't have the retail values. She's going to send them to me today, um, so I'll put those in the um, description box as well. Sorry, you guys. I had to kind of scoot. Scooch. So, I'm so excited to open this box. Like, this is the most excited I've been about a box. So we're just gonna dive right into this. So very first on the top is a um, purple organza bag full of little goodies. So let's see what is in here. I don't know if these are free gifts or if these are part of my order or what, but there's a lot of little things in there. And I love this organza bag because um, um, some of you may not know this, but I have a jewelry making um, channel as well, and I use these in that. So I will be saving that bag. And so first thing I'm pulling out here, it says Beautiful Magnolia by Estee Lauder. 
Um, I think this is a sample perfume, maybe. So let me open it. It is. So a little tiny sample perfume. I can't tell if I like it or not. It's taking a minute. Huh. That's not bad. And these are really useful to put in your purse. So happy to have that. That's very, very cute. And it looks like I've got several of them. So we also have a AOA Studio, which I know is Miss A stuff. Wonder Brow. Tinted Brow. Pomade. I think that's what that says. It's very small. So super excited to see what's in here. Obviously it's a brow product. Oof, I about dropped it. Okay, so it's just this little tiny pot. Um, it looks like this on top and like say that writing is very little. I think it says pomade. Um, and it's like a little I think I can't get my finger in there. I think that it's um, like a cream, but that's what it looks like. Really cute. A nice little sample size of that. So I think these must be free gifts or something. Um, then we have from In Studio Cosmetics a brow gel. Brow gel. And it's a little a little sample size. Um, which I did mention my brows and my hair and the products I really like. So I'm super excited. I can't get it out. I literally can't get this out of the box. It's like stuck to the bottom, I think. Oh, it's glued. It's got, well, not like glued glued, but it has a stick -em. Okay, so got that out. And it looks like this. So just a cute little brow um, spoolie with some gel. So some brow gel. Glad to have that. Um, I have another... Hold on. Another perfume by La Vie Est Bella Lacombe, Paris. And it's a little tiny perfume. It looks like this. Um, I would guess that these are free gifts. I'm not sure. I'm not positive. This was unopened, so that's great. Um, it did look like the other one had, the box had been opened at least, but, um, there was still plenty of, so it's a little perfume. Let me spray this. Okay. I don't like that one. Um, but I'm sure someone will. So I will just give that one away. Then I have this JVN Complete Nourishing Shine Drops. Um, I don't know what this is. It says, apply to dried hair. This silk silicone free oil instantly adds incredible gloss without adding weight. Oh, it's a hair, a hair oil. That's really cool. Like I said, I did mention my hair to her, so that's really cool. Oh my goodness. That is the absolute most adorable little thing I have ever seen. It's a little nubby top. With a dropper. That is so cool. I wonder how it smells. It doesn't smell good. <laughs> but that's okay. That is the cutest thing I have ever seen. 
it's so cute. So excited about that. Okay. Um, moving on. So, um, I don't know if you guys can notice, but I dyed my hair yesterday. It's just a box job, but I thought it looked really nice and then I straightened it. Um, so next we have a glide on eye pencil in zero 24 seven urban decay. So I think this is still sample size, um, but it's by urban decay, which is a really good brand. And let's see if I can get this out. Oop. Now, based on the packaging, I think it's in black, but don't quote me on that. <gasps> oh, I broke it. Okay. Um, it is, in fact, in black, and I hit it with my fingernail and broke the tip off. So, um, maybe I can use it to kind of, it feels nice. It's creamy. So, um, yeah, I, I feel bad I broke it. Um, so this is a gel liner, I believe it said. Glide eye, glide on eye pencil. So it feels nice. It's very creamy. Um, it looks like it's one you would sharpen. So, I'm sad I broke it. Um, sorry. Um, but that's really, really nice to have um, by Urban Decay. So, moving on. Give me just a second, guys. I'm going to blow my nose. Okay, I'm back. So next I have, also by Urban Decay, um, a long-lasting makeup setting spray, which is great because um, I don't really have a setting spray that I know of. Um, I have a setting powder, but um, and my best friend said she gave me a setting spray, but I don't know what I've done with it. So I'm really happy to get this, and I'm happy to get it because it's like a small travel size, which will be great for my little makeup bag. This bottle feels so luxurious it is like velvet i absolutely love that um so stop makeup meltdown with this groundbreaking formula all-nighter mist on weightlessly to keep your makeup looking gorgeously just applied for up to 16 hours without melting, cracking, fading, or setting into fine lines. The result, a smoother looking skin and vibrant makeup that lasts all day for all skin types. Super excited to have this. That is awesome. Um, and like say, the bottle feels amazing. So luxurious. I love that. So thank you so much for that one. Love it. And we have one more in this set, and it is a brush by Huda Beauty, and I do not have one. And I told her um, that I've been looking at getting a bunch of Huda and Natasha Denona stuff. Um, I really am into them right now, and um, but I'm not really willing to go out and pay $67 for one palette. So, like, mystery boxes or sets or whatever off of Macari is what I'm going for. So, super excited to have a brush because I don't have a Huda brush. And let me pull this out. This is what it looks like. It looks very luxurious. And it is very soft. This So, this looks like it would be great for highlighting or contouring. And this looks like a good eyeshadow brush so I'm super glad to have that let me see if I can get it on I can so very nice Huda brush it says a face conceal and blender brush so glad to have that so okay so moving on we're gonna flip 
pull out. We're going to pull out. We're going to pull out my first little present because this is like Christmas. This is probably the most fun I've ever had opening things. So can't wait to get into these. And I don't want to tear up her packaging, but I think I have to because I can't get it untied. Let me try. She did such an amazing job. I mean, just look at that. Isn't it so pretty? And I am going to have to cut it because I can't get it open. But it is so pretty. So cute little ribbons um, in this really pretty foil paper in purple. And I absolutely love the purple, pink, and black combo we've got going on here. Those are totally right up my alley. My favorite color is teal, but um, I wear black everything. I love black. And so I absolutely am, am in love with this color combo that she's got going on for wrapping here. Uh-oh. I cut a box. I'm not doing so great at this unboxing here. Um, I must be more careful in the future. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. So what I cut was um, this Vanish Blush Stick by Hourglass. Um, so I cut the little piece off, but it'll be okay because I'm going to use it. That is so cool. I love that. And let me try and be careful whilst getting it off. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Look at that. And that's like the perfect pigment so that you've got a blush, but not like Barbie doll pink. I'm not a Barbie doll pink fan. That is like the coolest thing I have ever seen. Love that. And then what made me jump up and down is this. She sent me Fenty Beauty. Fenty. And this is a lipstick, and I know because I got one in another mystery box that I'm going to do later on, um, but that one is um, a bubblegum pink, which I was very disappointed in because I can't use it. Well, actually, I'm still going to keep it and try and figure out a way to use it. But this is beautiful. Look at that. And it's called Uncuffed. Uncuffed is our name. And we're going to put some, I, I realize I have lipstick on, but we're going to put some on top of it anyways, just because I want to try this. That is the coolest applicator. I didn't even open the other one up, so I didn't know it had that kind of applicator. Very pretty. I love that. I got Fenty Beauty. I'm so excited. Okay, now let's be more careful when I open other packaging and not cut a box open. So I'm going to put these back in their boxes just because, yeah, I appear to be having problems with um, unboxing things today. So happy. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty, especially on top of my... Um, deep burgundy color. It makes it just like the perfect color. I love that. So next we're going to open a little black present. The other one was purple. Now we're going to do black with still purple ribbon. And unfortunately, like say, I have to cut these because they're very well tied, but they're so cute. It's a good thing I took a picture of this before. So, now we have...
Tata Harper Next Generation Beauty Restorative Eye Cream. Okay. I've never heard of this one. But it has a really cool packaging. That's really cool, actually. And I want to smell this just because I'm weird like that and I want to smell it. It doesn't smell good. Not that I expected it to. But it does have a really cool pump. So happy about that. And it's in a really, really cool green bottle. So eye cream. That's awesome. And let me see if this says anything about our eye cream. Let's see. That is in French. Okay. 30 high performance ingredients. Dermatologist tested. This is your youth preserving eye treatment. Our best selling eye cream minimizes the look of early wrinkles to give your eyes a healthy and youthful look. Apply after serum, massage a small amount around the entire eye area, follow with moisturizer, use AM and PM for all skin types. So really nice eye cream. So next we are going to open whatever this is and like say this is just like Christmas. Like I can't get over how Christmas this is because um, this may be better than all the Christmas gifts I got. <laughs> Okay, so now, well, these ones are tissue paper, but so they're easier to open. Okay, I don't know how to say this name. So it's O R I B E, um, Oribe or Orib. Tell me how to say it. Anybody know? Um, I she asked me if I'd ever used this brand, and I told her I had not. But this is a nourishing hair oil. It says Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. Um, sorry, guys, I have an itch. This luxurious light oral, 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 oil absorbs instantly to restore hair to its prime infused, to its prime, infused with a rich blend of jasmine, um, Edelweiss, flower, lychee, sandalwood, cassis, bergamot, and argan extracts. Each protective drop penetrates the hair to deeply condition, strengthen, and smooth, imparting intense nourishment and incredible shine. Works wonders on dry, damaged, and color-treated hair. Liquid gold. Apply through damp hair. Add to the ends after styling for extra luster conditioning and frizz control. So I told her I have really bad white girl frizz. So, um, if I don't put some kind of product in my hair, it will poof. Um, and right now I've straightened it. So it looks pretty nice right now, but I also put a bunch of product in it as well, um, for that. So I am interested in seeing this product. So, oh, it is leaking. Um, but right away, that feels very nice. And, um, okay, hold on. Give me just a second, guys. I'm going to wipe this bottle off because it's, it's gross. I'm afraid to touch my phone. Okay, I'm back in. So I did wipe it off and then I was able to get the little lid off and this is a pump bottle. Um, I will tell you it does not smell good, um, but very few hair care items do. Um, so that's a thing. Um, but I'm very interested to try this. I don't actually have any oil. I have a serum, but not an oil. So 
very interested to try that and I like that it has this pump bottle and the bottle's really pretty itself too. Um, like I say, it was open in the packaging so I just have to be careful with that. It looks like the um, lid was not completely screwed shut. So I just have to be careful. Okay, so next little present we're gonna open is another purple and um, with purple strings. This is two as well. So that's already two of them that I've got that were two. So I'm really excited about that. So I have something by um, Stilla and something by Buxom. Stay All Day Shimmer Liquid Lipstick um, by Stilla. Or Stila. Is it Stilla or Stila? I think it would be Stilla. Oh, that's so pretty. I kind of want to put this on on top of what I have on too. I know, I'm layering a lot of lipsticks. And then the one by Buxom is full on lip polish. And this was in Star. This one was in Patina Shimmer. Can you guys see that? Patina Shimmer. This one is in Star. And it's Estee. Estee. I can't talk. I never can talk. S T A R R. So really excited about this one too. Oh my goodness! Look at that. That is so pretty. So is this one. But that is just next level. Okay, we're putting the buxom on just because I need to be shiny. Maybe. Well, that one's certainly closed. What do you think? I love it. That's awesome. And it's just a little doe foot applicator. So really nice. So liquid lip, and then let me look at this one. This is also a liquid lip um, and a doe foot applicator. Um, I do believe that this one's gonna turn out to be a more matted down color, but like with a suede finish. And actually, let me just, I can just, I can just swatch it for you guys. Ooh, that is really pretty too. So that is that. So pretty. I love the stuff she sent so far. Like, this is the best thing ever. Okay. And like say, this had two and another one had two and it looked like we got a ton of free gifts. So... I can't wait to see my little list of, of what we got. Let me wipe this off just because I will inevitably get it on myself somehow. I feel like I have a hair stuck to my lip. That looks so pretty though with the, I do have a hair stuck to my lip. With the Fenty. Looks so pretty. Okay, moving on to my next present. I have another little present. I'm keeping all a, a pile of these little things just because I can. And they're cute. And they're decorating my desk right now. Oh, guys. We have to take my lipstick off because I got another one. 
and it's by Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty Lips. And it's in Revolutionary. Can you stop? Revolutionary. 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 Sorry. But we've got to take this off. And then we'll add we'll add it back. I think this is a um, lip plumper. Yeah, shimmering, pout, plumping, shine. Because I was going to say it's burning. Okay, so here we go. Got to take it off. So that I can use my Huda. It has tape holding it together. So I'm going to take that off. Help me. So you pull it out and, sorry guys, it looks like this. That is not my color. And it doesn't look at all what the box looks like. So, this will get given away, probably. I don't know. I might be able to make it work. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna test something. We're gonna put our buxom over top of it. Or actually, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the stilla over top of it. Yeah. And we'll see. Just because I think this will work. Or not. No. Don't like it. I don't like that color combo anyways. That color combo, it didn't work out near as pinky as I hoped. So, let's try it again with the Buxom. Brown is just not my color on lips anyways. Actually, brown is very much my color on my eyeshadow, but not on my lips. Yeah, I think I think my Huda Beauty has to get given to somebody. That's sad. <gasps> Actually, no, I'm not giving my Huda Beauty away. Okay, because I think I have something that will work. Just not these. So, again, give me just a second and I am going to put a better lip on. Okay, back again. Um, I actually have one more thing I was going to try on these lips before I give up on them. And that is, I got this in BoxyCharm this month. It is by Joyer. Or, yeah, I think it's Joyer. It's J-O-U-E-R. And it's a very purpley gloss. So, we're going to try this. Yeah, see, I can get behind that one. I was very skeptical of this gloss when I got it, but it's seriously making, like, all of my lipsticks work. Like, I had a nude earlier, and I don't work well with nudes either, 
or browns on my lips because it just makes me look like I'm wearing concealer um, when I have nudes and then browns are just not my color. So I'm not loving my not straight line here. Anyways, but I'm really loving this because it's definitely giving me the tint I need to make colors work for me without feeling like super glossy and terrible on my lips. You know what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't feel heavy. So I'm really loving that. And I'm really glad I got it now. I probably would want to reorder it. So next gift. It looks like we are getting into large ones now. So big one. Here we go. I'm like extremely, extremely excited for these because I told her I was in love with eyeshadows and I specifically I was looking for who did Natasha Denona I said Natasha Denona um, and so I don't know what she's gonna send but I'm so excited because these packages look like they are um, eyeshadow palettes and I'm obsessed with eyeshadow palettes now so we shall see we shall see we shall see Okay. I can definitely say that these are palettes because they look like this. And they're very well packaged. I will definitely give you that. They're truly bubble wrapped. Um, in fact, proving kind of difficult to get in this package actually. It's kind of doing a, a rippy effect here. Okay. So, let me pull out what's in these. And like I said, they were in bubble wrap. Let me pull my hair back just a second. That is hilarious. So I got the um, Aesthetica Contour Cream Palette, and I actually just bought this. So I guess I can um, give mine to my best friend because I got another one. And the other one was new, too. I haven't even got to get into it yet. I haven't even unboxed it, actually. It's in one of my Mercari um, boxes, but I specifically ordered that box for this palette because it came with like four and they were all new palettes and I really wanted to try out cream contour and bronzer and so what I love about this palette is for one it gives you like a little instruction manual um, in the box it has you pick out your face type not your face your face type right here and it shows you where to contour and um, bronze. So I really love that because most people, and highlight, most people don't know. So, and even I didn't really. So I really, really love that they give you this diagram and this whole instructional manual to like help you figure out your contour and highlight. Um, spots and so it does have a mirror on the top and then these are your colors down here and like say they are a cream which is amazing I'm just super into cream lately so um so happy to have that though and like say I just bought it so like that's exciting that she sent me great minds think alike apparently um that she sent me exactly what I was looking for online the other day so the Aesthetica palette, contour palette. And then we have two um, other palettes. So we have, just a second guys, they were taped together. Um, I don't know, get off of me. 
do the this is by Danessa Myricks um, Beauty do wet balm highlighting face and body balm I have never heard of this so I'm very excited to see what this is all about so let me get this open it is completely sealed in this packaging very happy about that and let me see the shade is in holy water I don't know if you can see that holy water it might help if I put it to where you guys can't actually read it I could read it okay So right off, the packaging is very sleek. It's very nice. I'm sorry my glare of my light is happening here. Um, and this is what our product looks like. Let me see if I can adjust that up. So it's a pink. <clears throat> I don't know. Sorry. I don't know how pink it's showing up, but it is a pink, in fact. Um, it's a very light pink. And it is a cream and that is what it looks like on the finger and then let me build it up just a tad so you can see that is what it looks like on the skin so that is gonna be gorgeous it's just gonna give you like a glowy finish um, I absolutely love this and it was called dew wet balm highlighting face and body balm and I have nothing like that so Thank you. So happy to get that. I know I'm going to reorder from her because, like, this is the most excited I've ever been. And then we have a Huda Beauty color block. And in my favorite colors. I know, because I was looking at this on the online the other day to buy. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. The packaging is like a rubber. That is so awesome. And it says blue and green color block obsessions eyeshadow palette. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Okay. So it does have a mirror. And then this is your colors. They're so gorgeous. That is so pretty. I'm, I'm going straight into this back one um, back here, right here in the middle, just because that shade fascinates me so much. Ooh, that is really pretty. Let me, let me, let me move my sleeve up so that I can, and then I want to go into this, this, this one right here that has dual colors. That's what it looks like on my finger, and you can definitely see both colors. I love that. So pigmented and really pretty. Okay, we have to go back into this one back here that says cake liner. Cake liner. Right here in this corner. And it's a very light color, I can already tell you. It's not going to show up. So it is on my finger, but it's a very light color. And then, let me see... I need, I need, I need a thing so I can wipe my fingers off. So, um, I haven't actually ordered the Huda palettes that I wanted to because I wanted to see if she sent me anything before I ordered things so I didn't get in multiples, but yeah, I'm so excited now. Okay, so we're going to swatch all of these ones along the side, this side here. So I did all of those. That's them on my fingers. And let me see how they swatch on my hand. Those are so pigmented and pretty. So pretty. So that's five out of the nine shades. This is a nine shade palette. Um, actually, I'm very curious. Hold on. We're going to do one more because I'm very curious as to how this yellow will swatch. Um, so we're going to swatch it real quick. 
So that's the yellow on my finger. And I'm gonna put it right here. There's the yellow on my hand. That's a lot more pigmented than I expected. Way more pig pigmented. So, I'm so excited about this. So, um, thank you so much for the things you have sent me so far. And I am not done. I think there's two or maybe three left um, packages. So, let me get this put up real quick. Once again, color block, Huda Beauty, blue and green. So excited for that. So this is now the second Huda Beauty that I have. And I do have one more on the way. Um, so we'll see if I get that from her as well. If I do, then I'll give the other one to my best friend. But she's getting um, jealous that I'm getting all these makeup items, but she's not willing to spend money on makeup. So I've been giving her a bunch of stuff. So, so happy with that. And moving on to the next one, we have another great big package. And let's see what this one is. I have high hopes because I mean that last one was so good and I mean so good my scissors don't want to cut this bubble wrap so we're gonna do the yank and pull one thing I think Issues here. Okay, so I can see that this is a palette. Can't get to the palette, but oh, okay. I finally did. Well, sort of. I have Natasha Denona. It's Natasha Denona, you guys. It is. And I almost ordered this palette, so I'm so glad I didn't. It is the Zendo palette by Natasha Denona. I'm so excited! Thank you! It's so pretty. Guys, okay, it obviously has a mirror at the top. It's so pretty! Look at those! They're so pretty. Okay, I gotta swatch. Okay, this is the whole top row on my fingers. So. Top row. Those are beautiful, and they are like butter. I love them. Okay, that's the top row. Going into the second row now. We're swatching them all because I need to. I need to know. So, second row. Okay. There's the second row. That one's not super pigmented. This one here. But it looks like it will build. So pretty. And then... Sorry guys, my eye itches. Now, 
we're going to go into our last row, which might be my favorite on this palette, actually. Okay. Oh, that is a pretty color. Okay. On the fingers. There's the thumb. And I guess we'll do them up on my wrist. Those are the colors. Can you guys see those? Those are all the colors in this pan. That is so pretty. I love them. And like I say, they feel like butter. So pretty. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's the best thing ever. So pretty. I will be using that. There will be a get ready with me. So the palette I'm really, really wanting so bad from Natasha Denona. Well, actually there's two, three. I want her retro palette, her um, retro glam palette and her glam palette. Um, this was on my list too. But those are my tops, and so um, I'm glad to have this one, but I'm still working on getting those other three, too. So happy to have that. Thank you. And I think I have one more. Yes. One more large presenty. So let me cut off my strings. So this is my beautiful pile of strings. Because they're absolutely gorgeous and I just I just needed them. And we are going to rip into this one. It is a bag. A really cool looking bag. Uh Laquina for Clinique. Laquina. I don't know if that's how you say that. But a really cute bag, and there is stuff in it. So Let's see what's in it, too. This is a nice bag. Actually, I'm looking for hair care bag. So I can pop some of my hair care in it. So I'm looking for a bag like that. And, oh. Sorry, guys. Let me show you. That's what that looks like. And it looks like, or feels like it's several items. So we'll see. It is. It is um, one, two, three, four, five, five. There's five items in that bag. So first, oh, this is hilarious. Okay, so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, and they just got this in um, the BoxyCharm. What is it? Premium. I think it's BoxyCharm Premium. And everybody was complaining about it because they did not want it in a premium box because it was featured, I think, in a regular box earlier. Um, and so they were kind of upset about that. And so even I said when I watched people's unboxings that I would have been upset if that came as one of my items. Um, but I did want one. And so I had looked them up as well. So... I think that is so hilarious that she's like reading my mind or something. So you've got like an eyeliner brush on this side and then a pencil. Actually, that might be an eyebrow. I think it is an eyebrow. Let me see. Dual indel do you guys, can you see that I can't talk at all? Dual ended angled brush. That's just what it says. So and it says it retails for, well, it has $18 listed on here anyways. I don't know if that's the retail value. Um, but it's got a spoolie on one end and like an angled brush on the other for like eyeliner or eyebrows or whatever. So glad to have that. And it had a hair on it, so I don't know if that's from her dogs or mine. Because I have 
a husky. So probably mine. <laughs> but so glad to have that. Then we have an item from Laura Mercier. Mercier? Mercier, I think is how you say it. It's a caviar stick eye color. So it's a crown. And it's in the shade turquoise. There is no way you guys are going to see that, I don't think. Or maybe there is turquoise. And let's see what this crown looks like. Ooh, that's really pretty. Let's see if I can get it without breaking it. Um, okay, so thoughts are that doesn't look like turquoise, but it is a very nice blue. And let me build this up just a little bit for you. It's a really pretty crown. I like that a lot. Not turquoise, but a very pretty blue. So there's that. So happy to have that. I don't have anything, any, ooh, sorry, I about dropped it. I don't have any um, crowns by uh, Laura Mercier either. Then I have something by Merit. It is a shade slick tinted lip oil, ombre pomade. And it's called Pink Beat. Can you guys see that? If I had it right. Because I had it right the first time. But I was second guessing myself. So, Pink Beat is a bit of a lighter color, it looks like. Yeah. So this will work over top of like one of my really dark base shades. So not mad about that at all. The packaging is really nice. I think it's, no, maybe not, it's glass. Actually, I think it's plastic, but it's still really sleek and nice and thick. So love that. Then we have something by Mark Jacobs. It's a Brow Wow Duo. Brow Powder, Pencil, and Tinted Gel. The rest is in a different language. Okay. Let's see what we got. I don't think I have anything by Mark Jacobs either. Is that it? Is this a refill? There's this thing here. Um, maybe it's a refill. Yeah. Okay. So cool thing. This comes out and I have a refill for it. That is awesome. And so it looks like this. Let me just kind of put this cap on. Mark Jacobs. And this comes up like that. If you guys can see that. And then on the other end, I believe, is our tinted gel. It is. That is the coolest thing. Thank you. And it comes with a refill. That is so cool. So I love that. And thank you so much. I'll put that back in its packaging. And then, last but not least, we also have another Huda Beauty. This is a du duo, a du, a duo eyeliner pencil and liquid. So, and it's in the shade Very Vanta Extreme Black. So I also don't have anything by Huda. Um, I like liquid eye eyeliner wise so i'm happy to try that by the way that's the packaging it looks so pretty and okay so this side is our our eyeliner and it's a stick that you can roll up like that 
Um, let me see. It is nice. It did a, a really nice line there. Um, and then the other side, I believe, how do you fit this? There we go. It's very particular. This one is a liquid. Oh, oh, oh. It's this side up. And there's that one. So I personally prefer liquid eyeliners to sticks. So I'll get some more use out of this side of it. Um, we'll see how it dries down. Um, but happy to have that because I don't have anything by Huda Beauty that's like that. So let me recap. We have all five of these items for one. So the Anastasia um, brush and spoolie, the Huda Beauty liquid eyeliner and eyeliner stick, the brow gel and brow pencil the um, tinted lip oil and the Laura Mercier colored um, eyeshadow. So there's those five out oh, in the bag that they came in. And let me make sure. Yes, that's it. Okay. Then we've got the Oribe or Oribe. I don't know how you say that or Orib. I, I don't know. Tell me how to say that. Somebody, somebody tell me in the comments how you say that name. Um, hair oil. So I'm glad to try this. Um, cause I don't have anything like that. And so glad to have to try that. I have a Huda Beauty brush and like a contour and, um, concealer or whatever brush. I have Huda Beauty Libby. I have a Buxom lip gloss, plumping lip gloss, a Stilla um, Pantina Shimmer gloss. So, so far that's four lips. So that's really good. Oh, five lips because I have Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty. And then I have the Danessa Myrix um, cream product. The highlighting face and body balm. I have the Aesthetica contour palette. The Natasha Denona Zendo palette. The Huda Beauty color block palette in blue and green the restoring eye cream by Tata Harper the hourglass blush stick a setting spray by Urban Decay and all of these little ones which was a eyeliner by Urban Decay, a brow gel by In Studio Cosmetics, a little freaking adorable JVN Nourishing Shine Drops. I thought, I think this, what was this for your hair? I can't remember. Yes, for your hair, the cutest little bottle ever. That's the cutest little bottle. Um, the two little perfumes and the little tinted brown brow pomade. So that is everything. Um, I am in awe of this box. Like... That is a ton of stuff, and I, I think it's very well-rounded. Um, I got a hair product. I got several eyebrow products, which I had mentioned. I got an eyeliner. Um, I didn't get a mascara, but that, I think that's the only thing 
um, face wise I got three palettes one face two eye I got five lippies a couple of brushes a bag uh, an eye cream a hair serum so overall I absolutely love this box and it is like 40 minutes on this one on this video and I know I have a couple others that I'm gonna splice together um, so this is like an hour unboxing and it was so much fun so I highly highly recommend you go check her out um, um, her username was raw Lux underscore underscore world I will put that on the screen above as well as in the description box below oh and like say she's a she will send you three times your purchasing value retail wise so if you spent 150 on your box she's going to send you um 450 in products and i spent 125 on my box so this is supposed to retail around 375 i also paid um 767 in shipping and 1128 in taxes for a total of 143.95 and i would definitely spend that again on this stuff I think this is very well worth it. So, um, I want to thank you guys all for watching and for being here. And if you're still here at the end of this video, um, thanks for that. And, um, give me a, a thumbs up or, um, a comment of any kind. And, uh, definitely if you know how to say some of the names of this that I have never heard of, um, let me know because I would love to know some of these brands that I've never heard of. Um, and, um, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I really want to build this channel up. And one of the big things that I want to do on this channel is unbox mystery boxes. I want to show you guys the deals that you can find online. That has always been a thing for me. I love shopping for deals. And, um, on my jewelry channel, I have a jewelry channel as well. And on my jewelry channel, I once found a box on eBay, um, for $3 and 25 cents. And, um, it was a box full of gemstones, like, and that's what I do. I shop on eBay, on Macari, on Poshmark, on whatever else I can find things on, Timu or Timu, it's Timu. I always say that wrong. Um, and all those other ones, just looking for deals and looking for things that I can give to you guys to get you some fabulous products for less than retail price. So, um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. And like say, leave me a comment on how to say some of these things. And I'm so excited. So thank you so much for my box. Um, I know I'm going to send her the link to this video so that she can watch it herself. So, um, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.